Welcome to the National Basketball Arena. We're about to get underway here in the under 16 C Pinnergy All Island Schools Cup Final. It's Matthew Hall here. I'm joined by Aaron Bragg. And Aaron, under 16 game, I think you probably know as little about these two teams as me. First time seeing them this year. But a uh, couple of good games today already. What kind of game will we expect under 16 C? Always tense affairs. Yeah, um, I mean, I'd say there's probably going to be a little bit of nerves. Um, probably the first time they're playing in the National Basketball Arena so you know it might be a slow start just so they get settled in but hopefully not and it lives up to the expectations of the rest of the games this today. So in the blue and yellow strip we've Colossian Hints from Bettis Town and they have on the floor number 13 Ebenezer I want to say Ej apologies for butchering his name number 7 Sean McCluskey number 10 Lewis O'Shea Number 12 is the captain, Connor Phelan. So just a bit of a change of jersey down below us. And I can't see the other one. I think it's number four, Ben McNulty. And then in the black, we've Cisterian College from Ross Quay. As the first shot is missed and rebound for starting for... Uh, Number one, that numbers are a little bit mixed, Joe Finn, we've got to travel, he gets the first call again, number zero, Ryan Stone, number five is Antonio Bergolis, number seven is the captain, Robert Kennedy, and number eight, just missed on defence there, is Paul McCarthy, so got the names underway, Aaron, good fast start from both teams, couple of, uh, a couple of travels and uh, a turnover. Yeah, I'd say they're just quite anxious, you know, just to get going until they settle in. I'd say that's what we'll see for the first few possessions. So Pergolis ends up, steals the ball. He looks to slow things down. First desertion. Good bit of noise coming from the Bettistown crowd. Now, when you, you mentioned uh, earlier, first time probably for both these two teams playing in the National Basketball Arena. Of a veteran of family schools finals, etc. How will that affect them? First time playing in this big in, in this big arena, and uh, with a big crowd as well, I suppose. Yeah, like I mean, it is a bit of an occasion, and you just hope that they'd enjoy it and they wouldn't let it pass them by. And um, it's great to have schools basketball back. Like I mean the last time that these guys probably played schools basketball like a two years ago it was the first year so to be playing under 16c now at this stage is, it, it's pretty good going yeah they've missed a good bit of basketball i've have most kids of this age but ryan stone gets a good steal there shot goes up but is short from mccarthy and that's stolen away and here comes lewis o'shea he puts his shoulder down tries to find a bit of space but good defense from the goalless and it will stay close to the ball. A nice basket down the middle for Ebenezer Pige. And uh, got that first score of the game. Anilia steal there, almost stolen away. But Louis O'Shea can't keep it up out, uh, inbounds. And it will be Cistercian ball. That'll settle the nerves a little bit there for Klosh to Hintzer. Nice drive. Baseline. Shot is off from McCarthy and rebounded by O'Shea. O'Shea looks to go to the basket. Jump shot is up and slightly off from Ben McNulty and well rebounded by McCarthy. Uh, both teams look like they can play basketball, some good basketball from both sides, some good passing, good aggressiveness, but both struggling to find their rhythm a little bit. Yeah, and I think th that's probably to be expected for the first quarter. We could see in some of the other games it was similar. It took teams maybe till mid-second quarter to actually feel quite comfortable. Nice pass inside. We've got to get a travel call. He just missed his step as O'Shea that was called for the travel. And McCarthy would bring the ball up. Cistercian behind the back pass doesn't go where it was intended but 
McCarthy tries his best to call for travel as he rolls on the floor. And it will go back to Kloshner. Hints ball and it'll be brought up the floor by Lewis O'Shea. It's been instrumental so far, but hasn't been able to get the basket. This time he does find a gap down the middle and a nice finish inside. Four to zero. Nice drive from Bergolis. Finds a little space, he eventually gets the rebound and he's fouled on the jump shot. So he'll go to line for a chance to get Cistercian's first score on the board. out good rebound by Ebenezer he'll go all the way to the basket he's looking for his second score of the game to do as he puts in and 6-0 good start here for Kloshner Hinsa yeah that was a nice take that time you can see Kloshner Hinsa are quite long and you know they've been quite disruptive on the defensive end so sisters unable to register their first score they've had a couple of good attempts that one's going to be short a shot from the captain Kennedy O'Shea inside to Ebenezer Ebenezer nice pass feeling it short and that one's going to bounce out of bounds Because we're well used to seeing these slow starts in these kind of games. But suppose it's getting to that point where Cistercian would want to open their score and just to settle the nerves a little bit. Yeah, definitely. Um, both teams showing a man at the moment. So I think they're just trying to fill each other out and see what way they're going to you know, approach it. So Ryan Stone will take the ball out. McCarthy, well guarded by O'Shea. Again, referee's very much letting them play as in the last game. So we get an up and down game of basketball, nowhere to go. Ebenezer with a block, and he looks to get out on the break. Good job from Sisters in getting back, and that's going to be called for a travel there. But he's been pretty impressive in his first few minutes, finding a bit of space score in the first basket. So we're getting our first time out of the game as Coach Q McGregor wants to talk things over. We'll be back with you shortly. Welcome back to this under-16C boys, Pinagy All-Island Schools Cup Final. 6-0, Kolosh Nahinsa a leading. And uh, timeout, I think, was actually taken by Q McGuagan. But what in particular do you think that, that Ollie Stapleton would be talking about for Cistercian as they struggle to record their first score? Um, well, I mean, I think they've struggled to kind of get, get a good look at the basket. I think their guards are doing a good job getting into the lane, but the length of um, some of the Klosh and Hinter players are quite disruptive at that back line. 
Dara O'Callaghan is going to check in for Louis O'Shea. Running jump shot goes up from William McIntyre checked in the break last time. Good rebound and again. Close shot missed from Robert Kennedy. So still yet to score, but I suppose the positive thing, Aaron, is that it's only a six-point game. Yeah, yeah, no, it's not as if um, Klosch and Hinch have gone on a big, massive run themselves yet. We've got a travel violation there. So it'll be Cistercian ball. And Antonio Bergolis to bring the ball up. He's been aggressive, looks like a man can get to the basket. And we're going to get a jump ball and possession arrows in favour of Cistercian. So it'll stay black ball. Goal is find some space. Nice pass on that. <laughs> and Ebenezer comes across, swats that away. See if he doesn't have a care in the world. Good box out to Ebenezer. He's going to look to push things on the break. Kicks it back out to Captain Phelan. Three-point shot is up and off from O'Callaghan, but again rebounded by Neza. Nice, Ebenezer, nice pass inside O'Callaghan, can't finish. Nice pass up front and Kennedy all the way to the basket and that will settle the nerves a little bit for Cistercian as they get their first points of the game. Ebenezer with a jump shot, bounces out, rebounded by Bergolis. McIntyre shows some nice handle, so he tries to find a bit of space, but... Again, just fumbled out of bounds there. I think it would be fair to say that neither team have really found their score in touch just yet. No, and I think... Probably teams, they're both their best bets might be to get out and transition a little bit, you know, because they've struggled in the half court against a set defense. We saw that a little bit in the earlier game. In the girls' final Laurel Hill. And Kloster Ali both struggled in the half court set. Nice cross court pass this time. And again, Crandall open shot is up and good from William McIntyre, and that'll settle the nerves. And we have a 6-4 six six ball game here with 1.15 to go in the quarter. Nice basket from Ebenezer. And, and really, he's been a standout player so far in this first quarter. Yeah, definitely. Doing it on both ends of the floor. Like, you know, a lot of deflections, some defensive rebounds, and then six out of the eight points so far. Beautiful play from McIntyre. Finds an open Kennedy under the basket. An 8-6, and all of a sudden the shackles are off. And uh, hopefully get this quarter out of the way and we can start seeing what both teams are really about as the standard has really stepped up. Nice steal from McCarty, but only into the hands of Ebenezer and he's fouled off a nice spin move. Things picked up in the last minute. Yeah, I think since that timeout actually when the players got to sit for a minute and then go back on, both teams have responded. In particular, Cisterian College. Yeah, it can take a few minutes in these games just to get settled in. Get your second wind and just start playing basketball. We've certainly seen that, as Aaron said, since the timeout. Ebenezer with a free throw. That one's going to bobble in. <laughs> and he's two for two, showing a nice touch on the line. 10-6, 36 seconds to go in this first quarter. Kicked outside to Bergolis, he's down the lane, just misses the hands of a cut in Kennedy. And it will be end line ball with 27 to go in this first quarter of this under 16 C boys, All Ireland Schools Cup final. With Callahan looking for someone to give it to, finds Ebenezer inside, that will be a kick ball. So 16 seconds to go, chance to take the last shot 
Maybe two seconds out with 14 seconds on the shot clock. Just get it in in time, but well blocked by Bogolis. So it'll be Cisturgeon with a chance to get the last shot to McCarthy. Kicks it back out to McIntyre. Three seconds to go, three-point shot is short, but well rebounded just in time by Kennedy and he's going to get a chance to go to the foul line for two shots as time expires in first quarter as we take these two free throws who's particularly impressed you or both teams is an even match um, yeah no I think Cisterian College did a good job of getting back into it you know down 6-0 and um, they've settled in offensively a bit I definitely think Ebenezer is one to watch now going forward because he's been a handful on both ends of the floor So Robert Kennedy misses both. So at the end of the first quarter, it's Kaloshta Nahinsa 10 and Cistercian College 6. We'll be back with you shortly for the second quarter. So welcome back to National Basketball Arena. Getting underway in the start of the second quarter. It's under 16. C. Pinergy All-Island Schools Cup Final. A block from Alberto Bogolis. 10-6 at the end of the first quarter. Erwin, are you expecting to see many changes in this second quarter or, or, or will the coach just be happy to get through the first quarter having settled into the game a little bit yeah no I think so I think the first few possessions were very up and down got a few turnovers you know some miss shots um, so hopefully they've settled in a little bit now and we can see some good basketball from both teams the goal is to McIntyre McCarthy A bit scrappy here at the moment. But the goal is to be outside for three. That one just bounces out. Rebounded by McCarthy. Got away with the travel. He didn't get away with the travel. Well spotted. So it'll be sideline ball. Louis O'Shea is back into the game for Kaloshna Hintze. He'll be at point guard spot. He's Captain Phelan to Callahan. Looks for Ebenezer, jumps above the slightly smaller McIntyre, but can't finish. Yeah, nice pick and roll, but that time by them too. Yeah. 
O'Shea. Side of a nice pass to O'Callaghan. He's fouled. So Dawa O'Callaghan will go to the line for two shots. Both teams struggling from the line a little bit. He misses two, but goal is for the rebound. He'll look to push things, and he's been aggressive throughout. He looks to find that little bit of space, and this time he gets the call and will go to the line for two shots. But Aaron, he's been particularly aggressive throughout. He hasn't had much luck getting to the basket, but he's finding those little nooks and crannies, and this time he gets the call to go to the line for two. Yeah, and he, I mean, he's done a good job at actually getting other people involved as well. He's, he's had a few nice passes after getting deep into the lane too, and um, they were just unfortunate not to finish early in the game. Knocks down the first, make it a three-point game. That one's been waved away. And he stepped over the line after shooting it, so it will remain 10-7. So O'Shea looks to set things up, guarded by McIntyre. Tries to find the cut in feeling, but it will go out of bounds and it'll be Cistercian ball. McCarthy, baseline drive, nice pass inside to Finn. Finn shot bobbles out and rebounded by Ebenezer. A little bit unlucky there to get a jump ball. Just be a bit stronger with him, his coach tells him. So on the possession arrow. It'll be Cistercian Ball, they'll have another chance to cut into this lead. The goalist can't get it, Finn missed the rebound as well, so it'll be Phelan with a chance to push. Phelan, jump shot in the middle, bounces out. Tipped away by Finn. The O'Shea had another go from the foul line. That one's too strong. And good defence by Bogolis and Finn has a chance to attack as McCloskey slips. Bogolis finds wide open Kennedy inside. But defence were quick to recover. That one's out. And we're three minutes into the second quarter. Aaron and uh, neither team has really found any kind of rhythm or any kind of consistency offensively so far no I think for the cloth to the hinge uh, you know I think maybe it might be a good idea to try and get Ebenezer low and just as we say that uh, we have a nice drive there and finish yeah Ebenezer's certainly looked well capable of putting up points a nice finish by O'Shea shot in and out this time from McIntyre and Ebenezer is fouled by the goalist that's going to be his first personal foul. So here's O'Shea on the back of a layup last time down. Looks to go again. This time wasn't quite in sync with Elliot Cassidy who's checked in. But Goldis looks to find space there, but you could the referees confer but a charge and uh, you can kind of see that coming as both defenders close the gap. Yeah, and that just goes to show like he has been quite aggressive, but probably not the right decision that time. So in quick succession, he picks up two personal fouls. He'll have to be careful now with 4.30 to go in this first half. Here's Ebenezer. He's looking to find some space inside. Nice move inside and finish for his first two of the game for Elliot Cassidy. And the scores have been doubled here. 14-7, so a little bit of gap growing. But we're going to get a foul. Fouls going against Captain Collar Phelan. That will be his second. Goalists 
McCarthy, high arcing shot. It's nothing but net for McCarthy and a great two. Keep them in the game there and they needed that score. Yeah, I think um, Klosh and Hinch showed a little bit of zone out of that possession after a score. So I'm um, trying to disrupt them a bit, but Cesarian College did a good job to find an open shot. Nice pass from O'Shea to Cassidy and he'll go to the line for two shots. And Cassidy's come in the game, the, a slight bit of miscommunication on the first drive from O'Shea, but since then he's been very good and getting the right place at the right time inside. A couple of points and he's got a chance to go to the line for two as well. One from two from Cassidy. He's had a great start to this game. And it's Finn. He'll look to push. Ooh, and just as he was about to pass. Again, Cassidy took away that pass. So, creates a turnover and a travel. And checking into the game for Sturgeon is number 10, Alvaro Castillo. His first appearance of the day. O'Shea to Ebenezer, he looks to drive the baseline, but well defended by Finn. Inside to Cassidy again, he finds that space, rebounded by Ebenezer. And Aaron, you have to say Cassidy's made a real difference there inside as that second inside player to help Ebenezer out. Yeah, definitely. I think both of those lads have done a very good job of, you know, crashing the boards and getting the ball low, and I think that's putting Sisters in college under a lot of pressure. So we've a turnover there, so it'll... Go back to Klosch de Hintze. So they have a chance to extend their lead. They're 17-9 up with 3.24 to go. First half of the under 16 C Pinnagy All-Island Schools Cup final. Here's O'Shea, well defended by McIntyre. O'Shea with a fadeaway jump shot goes good off the glass. And everything's starting to go for Klosch de Hintze. They now lead by 10. Finn, turn around, jump shot. Again, good bit of physicality there. O'Callaghan gets it into the hands of O'Shea. O'Shea, well defended by McIntyre. Tries to find Ebenezer inside. Tipped just up and over the basket to the ooze of the crowd. Again, Finn might have got away with the travel here. And this time we're going to get a backcourt. And then 2.30 to go, it's a 10 point game. As we're going to get a timeout here. Coach Kimo Gong wants to talk and go. We'll be back shortly for the remainder of this. So welcome back, 2.30 to go in this first half, and the 16C Pinergy All-Island Schools Cup Final. I was just saying there as Louis, a nice pass inside to O'Callaghan again, goes out of bounds. It's a 10 point game, but it almost doesn't seem like a 10 point game, certainly doesn't feel like it's insurmountable for Sesturgeon. What, what, what do they need to do to try and get, this way, get themselves back into this one? Well, I think the last couple of possessions, they kind of struggled with Kalosh and Hinch's full core pressure. Um, and they definitely need to keep the two lads, um, Cassidy and uh, Ebenezer, out of the key. But she did a much better job that time, and now it's a chance for them to get out in transition. And those are the ones they really need to put in. As 
Castillo can't finish, but he comes right back and gets a steal. Ebenezer, this time again, again, jump ball, and it is Colossian Hinza, ball on the possession arrow. O'Shea. To Ebenezer. Ebenezer will take the long range jump, but that doesn't go. And tipped from Kennedy into the hands of McIntyre. This Finn. McIntyre turns down the first shot, doesn't do the second shot, but Finn grabs the rebound but can't finish. And not much going at the moment for Cistercian. Spin move and bank shot off the glass for Connor Phelan. Okay. Oh, Ebony's had a chance to steal that with 1.20 to go. We feel it's a must score situation for Cistercian here. Just to give them a little bit of confidence going into half time. Again, yeah, they're really struggling to get anything going in the half court. Three point shot is up short. Rebounded by Mulrooney. Under a minute to go. First half. We're going to get a travel there. It's McIntyre. And Aaron, it becomes difficult when things aren't going your way just to keep your confidence up. As you mentioned earlier, first time in the, in, in the National Basketball Arena. So they just need to try and get themselves back in the game a little bit here. Yeah, I mean, like one possession at a time. If they just focus on getting stops and then, you know, they've missed some layups. Like, you know, so if they could get them to drop... O'Shea puts that one in and we saw in the last game the girls game where Laurel Hill were completely outmatched in the first half the great block by Ebenezer but came back in the third quarter so I suppose that will be what this surgeon looking to do is try and just to regroup during this half time and uh, come back and show what they can do in the third quarter yeah definitely but I, th I think Klosh and Hinch are doing a, a good job at you know just staying with it and they've gotten some nice looks and the difference was they were able to actually finish and exactly we see that there O'Callaghan forward to O'Shea and O'Shea finishes with a bump and the foul. He'll go to the chance to make a three-point play. It's 25-9. Rebound by Phelan. Uses his body well. That one bounces out and Kennedy grabs the ball with a chance. To cut the lead slightly for Sisters with under 20 seconds to go. McIntyre tries to find a bit of space but stolen away by O'Shea. He's been excellent so far in this game. Finn does a good job to get his hands on the ball with 5.3 seconds left. Phelan all the way to the basket and off the glass for Phelan so at the end at half time it's a big lead for Kolosna Hinsa as they lead Cistercian by 27 points to 9 we'll be back with you for the second half in about 3 minutes time
So welcome back here. Getting underway here in the third quarter of the under 16 C boys. Pinergy All Island Schools Cup Final. It's Koloshna Hintzer from Bettistown 27. Cistercian College, Moskwe 9. And Aaron, 27-9 lead. It's been tough. We saw a good start from Cistercian, but they've fallen away a little bit, especially offensively. And with the, the gap being at 18 points and them having only scored 9 points, what chance do they have of getting themselves back into this and what they need to do in order to do so? I think they just probably have to forget about the scoreboard at the moment and just keep playing. Um, you know, they did get some good looks. They just didn't get anything drop. Um, you know, I think Klosh and the Hinchage were just a bit more efficient in the key, you know, at making those layups. So, so it hasn't been a game that they look like they're out of for most of it. They've just struggled to score, particularly in that second quarter. Great pass inside to Kennedy. He's fouled. And they're going to go end line ball on that one. He didn't quite go up in time. The goal is finds a little bit of space, kicks it back out, but O'Shea gets a steal. He's down the court quickly, gets all the way to the basket. Can't finish, but he rebounded and nearly put in by Cassidy. Rebounded by Sebastian Long, his first time in the game for Klosh Nahinsa. Three-point shot is up from Ebenezer and short. And eventually the rebound does go into the hands of Bergolas. He looks to drive the paint. Tries to find a cut in Kennedy, but it's just tipped out of bounds. It'll be the ball. We're gonna have a, an early sub for Klosh Nahinsa. It's feeling it will check out the game. And McCloskey will check back in. Open jump shot is short, but rebounded by Kennedy. But again, he can't finish there. And it's going to be a tough way back because he can't finish those little shots inside. They've had a few of those already in this quarter. Been unable to finish. Yeah, and I think Kalosh and Hinch have done a good job at mixing up their defence. You know, they showed a bit of man. They went a bit of full court zone. They're in a bit of a 1 3 1 now. So I think something like that does disrupt you. So that could be a factor to play with Stishers and not being able to get any momentum and rhythm going. Caught pressure themselves here. But quickly. Suet is O'Shea, but he's called for the travel. He just loses control of the ball. Finn, the goal is back to Finn. Finn finds himself with his space again and fumbled it out of bounds. And you can just kind of feel the confidence flowing out of Cistercian at the moment. They need something to pick them up again. This could be it. It's Finn. Can't find through the gap. He picked it up and had no chance but to throw it away. And those type of plays have just made it difficult for them. Just on the fast break, not being able to find any rhythm at all. <laughs> Ebenezer and Kennedy just told to stop the argy-bargy inside. Out to Mulrooney. Will Rooney to Finn. The goal is takes jump shot. That one's bouncing now. Cleaned up by Ebenezer. And we're going to get a foul on Mulrooney. O'Shea turns the corner. Floater from the corner. Doesn't go in. Rebounded by Bergolis. He'll pull up for a jump shot. That's short. And we're going to get another foul. And 
Aaron offer a bit of positivity towards the Sturgeon here. How are they going to find their way to get back in this game and get a score? They're really struggling here at the moment. Yeah, I, I, I think they ha in half court in particular, they have struggled. So I think their best bet is to try and get out in transi transition and see if they can get something easy. Um, you know, but if they don't get some stops, you know, which they've done a better job. Like, I mean, Kalosh and the Hinja haven't scored either for the last like three minutes of this quarter. I think yeah. you're right, though. I think it is a bit of a confidence thing, too, you know. Yeah, someone just needs one to go in. And we're going to get a foul here. Pass it off, so I think it'll be... Endline ball, a foul. That's gone. One O'Callaghan. Just checking in the game is uh, Kehoe. Dohi Kehoe is checked in. Let's see if he's the man to kickstart the Cistercian offence. But Golis looks to drive his baseline to Finn. Nice pass. Just nothing going at the moment. Finn with the rebound. That one needs to bobble in. It doesn't. And rebounded by Eb Ebenezer. This is certain we'll get another chance. It's turned over. And Castillo with the ball. Again, really turned over again. A little bit careless from Sturgeon. And they're going to timeout call so talk things over we'll be back with you in about a minute's time We've still got an 18-point game. I think we're scoreless in the three minutes, ten seconds of this third quarter. And as much as Sisters are not happy with their offense, Coach Q McGrogan below, not too happy with the way his guys have been playing in this quarter either. Finn. McCarthy, high arc and jump shot, doesn't go. Rebounded by Ebenezer. Good pressure from Finn. And he does a good job of getting his hands on the ball. So it'll be a jump ball, but it's Klosh and a hints up ball on the possession arrow. Now Callahan has called for a travel. Yeah, it's very difficult to see where Cistercian are going to get back into it because as you, as you said, Colossi Inter haven't scored in this quarter either so they've had their chance three and a half minutes to really eat into it but haven't made any headway into the lead at all. No, and I think um, Bergolas did a good job in the first quarter getting himself to the free throw line so, you know, and, like, you know, he put the head down, he got into the key so maybe that's something that they might need to look at so he could maybe get himself and his team going. Yeah, a little bit of aggression is what needed. No point in dying wondering here. So here is Bergolis. Nice pass to McCarthy. He'll take a float along the baseline. That one's short. Rebounded by Ebenezer. And we're going to get a foul. And it's going to go against number seven. It's Kennedy's second personal foul. Bounce off the head of Cassidy.
Ben McNulty will check back into the game here. In place of Elliot Cassidy. Elliot Cassidy had a really good second quarter. He's been very quiet, much like everybody else on the court in the third quarter. But good performance in the second quarter, Aaron? Yeah, he did a good job, you know, when the game was still actually quite close um, at getting some good looks inside. I think both teams struggling turning the ball over now at the moment. Yeah, Ben McNulty just taking a little bit of time to warm up here. He's called for a travel. 15 with a jump shot. That one still doesn't bobble in. Nothing going at all for either team here in this third quarter as we're down to three minutes, 20 to go in the quarter. Still scoreless in this one. This quarter, 27-9 overall. McCarthy, he's had a couple of tries from that angle. Ebenez with a rebound. And O'Shea who found good space to get to the basket in the first half hasn't been able to and he turns the ball over this time McCarthy shot miss and really a, a catalogue of errors at the moment from both teams yeah I mean like you said this was Sisters in college um, chance to get back into it so finally we get one to drop from McCarthy still 2.30 to go in this quarter so you could register another score or two all of a sudden we'll be closer to single figures but Ebenezer puts pay to that little mini run as he comes back with a score of his own McCarthy made his last one he's two for two all of a sudden got a bit of confidence Twenty-nine, thirteen. so in the middle of a scoring frenzy here both teams Oh, just cut short there from O'Callaghan. Finn McCarthy. This time, oh, he's unlucky there. It does go in, but call for the travel. But good to see him find a little bit of confidence there and a couple of shots. Yeah, it's exactly what they needed. I mean, he kind of hesitated on that last one, and Klaus and Hinch did a good job at kind of rushing at him and making him do something else. So 1.45 to go in the third quarter. It's under 16 seat. Finnegy All-Island Schools Cup final. Ebenezer back out to O'Shea. O'Shea for a long range two. Doesn't go. Rebounded by Kennedy to McCarthy. He doesn't see Ebenezer coming from behind him and he has his pocket picked. There we go. Another foul here. So that'll be the fourth team foul on Cistercian. Next one will send Kloshna Hinsa to the foul line. O'Shea tries to find a bit of space. Ebenezer, fadeaway jump shot on the baseline is off and rebounded by Kennedy. Kennedy tries to get a quick outlet to McCarthy, but it's tipped. Referee decides it was kip, tipped by McCarthy, so it will be Klosh and hints the ball. O'Shea down the middle of the lane. And Callahan back to O'Shea. O'Shea's jump shot. Just a bit off, and McCarthy tries to get it from the goal. Can't do it, and O'Shea can't make the layup. So Kolosha hints they're scoreless in the whole of this quarter, yet they still lead by 16 points. And they got away with a backcourt violation there, but it's Ebenezer actually not scoreless. Ebenezer has two points. Apologies. away with one banking off the glass so with 25 seconds to go 31 13 and the goal is bundles his way through and he'll find Kennedy open a nice basket yeah that was a good a good way to break the pressure that time that's kind of what you talked about a little bit earlier in the open court of pushing things a little bit more yeah exactly they, they've struggled in the half court so I think they have to kind of make it a transition game Ebenezer Puts up the shot at the end. The buzzer doesn't go. So after the end of a very, very quiet third quarter, it's Kolosh Nahinsa 31, 
This is Sturgeon 15. We'll be back for the final quarter shortly. So, getting underway here, final quarter, eight minutes to go, 31 Kaloshna Hinsa, 15 Cistercian, inside to Finn, Finn gets one to roll and he struggled just to get one of those bounces to go his way, so that'll give him a little bit of confidence, but very, very quiet third quarter, Aaron, for both teams, but yeah, I suppose... Definitely. Kalos and Hinsa will be the happiest for the fact they have the big lead. Yeah, I mean, it's important that they had that going in because, it, you know, if the game had been any way closer, it would have been a single-digit game going into the last quarter. And if Sturgeon shown you anything to, to make you think that they can get their way back? It's only a 14-point game now at the moment. Um, I'm not sure. Like, I know in a game of basketball, teams can go on runs, but they have struggled to finish. And, you know, I think we see... Um, Captain Phelan checked back in and he had done a good job in that second quarter at finishing as well. So we have to re-watch that move to see what happened. It looked like a travel to me, but nice finish by O'Shea, nonetheless. He had a very good first half, very quiet third quarter, much like everyone else. But when his team needed to score there, he was able to do it. 16-point lead. Ebenezer inside to Cassidy good defense from Cistercian outside to O'Shea and we have a shot clock violation as a three point shot goes in just after by Connor Phelan it won't count checking in to a rapturous applause is Oscar Duggan his first time checking in today his classmates give him Bit of encouragement as he steps onto the floor. The goal is to Finn. To McCarthy. McCarthy with that floater. That one's out. His arms everywhere there. But we've got jump ball. And on possession out. It's going to be Kaloshna hints the ball. Phelan out to McCloskey. O'Shea can't finish. McCarthy looking to break here. Duggan, he'll take a shot. Doesn't go rebounded by Finn. Just tip it up. Might have been better off grabbing it, but he does a good job of keeping his hands on the ball and jump ball. That'll be Cistercian ball. Duggan ends up with the ball after being kicked around a little bit, but stolen away by Cassidy. Cassidy to O'Shea, all the way to the basket, and O'Shea puts that in, 35-17. Yeah, nice execution transition that time. I, I think the turnovers are really hurting Cistercian College. And right on cue, Ebenezer comes up to another one, but this time he turns it right back over. And a nice pass forward to Kennedy. Oh, can't finish on the break, and that's costly. Finn gets away with a backcourt violation there. McCarthy's like that baseline in the second half. They're going to kick the ball. Oh, 
McCarthy to Finn. McCarthy threads the needle to Kennedy inside. Nice pass, but Kennedy can't finish. And time ticking away here for Cistercian with 5.30 to go. Ebenezer puts it up, doesn't go. Bergolis with the rebound. He's McCarthy in front of him. But good defense from O'Shea. Slows him down a little bit. Bergolis keeps going. Yeah, it's going to save the foul there. And that's going to count. And I suppose we, at the start of the game, we thought we were going to see a little bit more from Bergolis of doing that. We're going to get a timeout here as Kiwi McGuagan wants to talk things over. So 5.15 to go in this under 16 C boys Pinergy All Island Schools Cup final. 35-19. It'll be Antonio Bergolis going to the line. And Aaron mentioned before the break how aggressive he was earlier in the game but couldn't get to the basket. And, and there really we saw what we thought we might have saw, seen earlier in the game. Yeah, I think um, he picked up those two quick fouls. Um, one after the other and I think he, he kind of lost a bit of regression then after being called for an offensive foul so we'll see if he can kind of go on a bit of a run here and get his team back into it Finn grabs the missed free soap puts it in O'Shea might have got away with one there and Finn gets the rebound he has Duggan in front of him along with McCarthy nice pass to McCarthy but Ebenezer does a great job of getting back just in time and all of a sudden the crowd is getting into this one a little bit Finn Jump shot, Ebenezer, a good rebound, and they're going to get a foul on Kennedy. Yeah, he's done a very good job on the boards. Yeah, there hasn't been much that's bounced off the ring that he hasn't got his hands on. O'Shea and the pressure from Bergolis, maybe a little bit too much pressure, but... Gets away with it there. Cassidy. Cassidy is fouled by Kennedy. Back to back fouls by Kennedy. That's going to be his fourth foul. point shot from Ebenezer is good and he's had a little bit of a quiet period offensively but oh and a quick turnover just what they didn't need checking into the game is Stone we haven't seen Ryan Stone for a little while he's back in as Kennedy will take a break on four fouls
in to Duggan. Duggan is blocked by Ebenezer, but good finish from Finn. Goalless foul, 3.51 to go, 15 point lead. So Sean McClusty go to the line for two shots. Shot rebounded by Finn. Finn to McCarthy. That high arc and jump shot of his, that one's bounced out. But nice looking shot. Great hustle from Bagolis. Gets it back to Mac McCarthy. Nowhere to go. Finn can't make that one and rebounded by Phelan. Oh, nice pass up ahead. But McCloskey has his shot blocked by Finn. 3.30 to go, 15 point lead. And Ebenezer scores there, and right before I was going to ask you if there's any chance here for Cistercian, but that pretty much puts pace to it, would you think? Yeah, no, I think so. I, I just think that they have too much for Cistercian, and, you know, they struggled early. It's, it's definitely that second quarter period, because both teams have been quiet enough in this third and fourth. Um, that second quarter, though, I think kind of killed Cistercian a little bit. Ebenezer has found his score in touch. Again in this fourth quarter as he puts in another two. Stone finds a bit of space to Duggan. Duggan to Finn. Finn's jump was off, rebounded by Phelan. O'Shea splits the gap, nice finish from O'Shea. And he's been impressive throughout and really pushed the pace. Yeah, he has. He's gone out in transition, he's had some tough finishes. Um, he's been that second kind of offensive threat along with Ebenezer. subs from both teams so Daniel O'Sullivan checks in for the first game and Mate Mateus Zavadra for Klosh Nahinsa and then we Pierce Murphy checking in for his first action of the day and he's joined by Timmy Hartnett Good opportunity for those guys to get to play at National Basketball Arena. It's been picked up a foul, trying to put a bit of pressure on. 2.22 to go. Don't think the result is in doubt now. 44, Kolosh and 23, Cistercian. It's been gets the block, and here's Bogolis going to the basket and almost blocked from behind, but it'll be a foul on Louis O'Shea. So checking in for his first action of the day. Sean Burton Hurley. And he gets a good hand as he comes in to 155 to go. Don't forget if you're in school this week, quiet, quiet week in school. There's plenty of basketball to watch online. There's four more Pinergy School Cup final games tomorrow. Start at 10.45, I believe. And again on Thursday and that's followed by a weekend of basketball national cup finals here at National Basketball Arena the under 20 final on Saturday night games all day uh, on Friday night sorry followed by another under 20 a senior men's 
And then the Super League Pat Duffy Cup final is Saturday night on TG Car and it tips off at, I want to say, 6 o'clock. But it's live on TG Car, uh, as live on TG Car, 7.45, live on TG Car's website at 6 p.m. And then on Sunday night, live on TG Car, again, I probably should have it with me, but I want to say 5.45 or 6 p.m. for the women's women's final. Is that right, Aaron? Um, I think it could be. Right, 5 p.m., live on TG Car, the women's National Cup final. We're told return to the, the olden days of Scannell. Uh, Mark versus Mark as DCU take on Glam Meyer. Shea, good footwork, get down the middle of the lane. Any game in particular you're looking forward to seeing at the weekend, Aaron? Um, I'm definitely looking forward to the Men's Super League uh, Pat Duffy Cup final. I think there's two contrasting kind of teams there. Tralee Warriors, quite physical, um, very big. Neptune execute really well. Um, so I think that's definitely going to be a good one. Um, but I'm sure that we'll see good action all over. I think Coach Kieran McGrogan here is going to be happy with his team's performance today with Klaus and Hinsha. He's going to be kitted out for Drogheda Wolves playing against uh, UCC Demons on Saturday in the Men's D1 National Cup Final. So hopefully he'll be looking to keep that winning streak going this week. Yeah, Drogheda in their first season in the National League made the Cup Final. They'll be delighted with that. And Seven says Coach McGong looks certain to be getting the win here as a foul and two shots for Bagolis and just below us getting ready to check into the game is Sebastian Long I'm reliably informed <laughs> by uh, the man that would know the director I think it's director is a uh, Sunday TG car on air at 10 past 7 you can take that as gospel Dave, I promised to do my research for the rest of the week. Probably should have thought before I started saying it. 48 seconds to go. 44-29. And Aaron, deserved winner for Colossian Hintzer? Yeah, definitely. I think, um, you know, they were a lot deeper overall than Cistercian College. They had a couple of players that could score. Defensively, they were quite good. You know, their length was very disruptive and, you know, they turned them over quite a lot. So I definitely think the, the best team won on the day. McIntyre nets that second one, 44-30. And really we consider there's no scores or hardly any scores in that third quarter. A 14-point lead or 14-point win if it, if it stays this way it isn't massive. So it wasn't like they, they didn't have a chance to disturb but just didn't really perform offensively. No, and you know, they might be disappointed with themselves, but they did give a good account. And like I said earlier, I think it was really that second quarter, you know, Kalosh and the Hinch were up 18 at half time. So Cistercian have actually won the second half. Um so, you know, they might reflect on that and be a little bit disappointed, but there was a good account from both teams today. I'm getting the neck here. It is, in fact, 10 past five, not 10 past seven, the women's game. Can't read my 24-hour clock. into the line for two shots and he knocks it down oh he doesn't knock it down it's a bit, <laughs> a bit premature on that one he stepped over the line so that one will be waved away as if things haven't gone bad enough for him today unfortunately done a good job in the second half made a, a good few baskets he's going to get the rebound here another chance with under 10 seconds to go as the Kloshner and Hintzer crowd count the clock down and the ball goes up at the end of the under 16 the Pinergy All Island Schools Cup final. It's Colossus and Ahinsa from Bettistown are the champions. They've defeated Cistercian on a scoreline of 44 to 31. You can stay with us to watch the presentations. And uh, we'll be back first thing in the morning with more Schools Cup games at 10.45.